Hey guys, and welcome to CC's Texas Garden. So guys, this is October, and I know I'm planting my garlic a little earlier. I should probably wait to November, but I'm gonna plant it early because I don't wanna be waiting all for so long to have to harvest it. And so we've been having some cold, colder nights, and I'm gonna go ahead and plant me some garlic. So now these smaller ones, this was a whole garlic clove like this one. And, um, but these smaller ones are gonna come up like garlic chives. I can cut these down and have some garlic chives. These bigger ones will form into bulbs. So if I leave them in there for the nine months, they can, um, they'll get big and they'll produce another clove of garlic. But these smaller ones, they're not gonna make big cloves of garlic. But like I said, I can still use them. Pest still doesn't like the smell of garlic. So you can still plant them in your garden in different areas and use them as garlic chives. And, and these bigger ones will be good too. I'm gonna break this up as well. I have an area right over here. I think I'm gonna put it into that tote and um, let it be able to grow in there. I want it somewhere that I won't have to disturb it and it can just sit there throughout the winter into the spring and um, hopefully in the mid spring I'll be able to harvest them. So you definitely want to put your garlic and your onions if you want to get bulbs in a place where you don't mind um, it being for nine months y'all, eight, nine months. <laughs> So definitely put it somewhere where you don't have to move it. All right. So I just wanted to show you that is what I'll be doing today is getting my garlic cloves in. Um, I'm waiting on my onions. I'm planting them from seed. And so they are sprouting up. And so when they do, I'm going to individually put them in their areas as well. Guys, we're in the backyard today um because i am moving my compost pile over so you know how like people flip them and move them around well i had mine in uh uh wrapped in netting it was fenced around here so it has not moved the whole summer uh, when the lawn guys would come i just told them to dump the grass clippings into here i have been throwing scrap food scrap into here since the summer over here you can see this some new fruit scrap that i brought out here put it on this cardboard what i'm going to do is move my compost pile like flip it you know this stuff need to be combined in there i have no idea what's in here i'm going to weed eat around here first so maybe if any um little critters that don't want to get flipped come on out of there whatever Anyway, I'm going to move this compost over to here and hopefully I can get some dirt, some topsoil and start putting it on top of here. I would like in the springtime to be able to have some real nourished um, compost for my garden. So I don't have to buy compost next spring. I'll be able to have my own. And uh, that's how you do. It's just browns and greens together, mixing in. Um, if you have some um, black cow or some hummus, compost, you can add those as well to this. But just the brown and greens itself will break down over time and give you the nutrients that your soil will need. So um, I'm also going to use, let me move y'all over here. Uh, we, of course, it's fall, so we have leaves falling everywhere. So I'm going to scrape up some of this, put it in a wheelbarrow, and bring um, these leaves um, into my compost pile as well. I am going to bag up some leaves too to be able to insulate my garden throughout the winter. But mostly, I'm going to be using this to go on my compost pile over here. This is where we like to have our little wiener roast and, you know, marshmallow s'mores and stuff under this tree. I am going to put a light up here. I'll probably bring y'all along sometime when we have our little family get-togethers when it's cool and fall. Um, 
I have these sticks in here since the summer. It definitely dry, dry out. <laughs> and um, but yeah, I had fencing around here, and I moved that so I can weed eat around there, break it up, and look at the butterflies already over here, y'all. <laughs> they like the bananas. Um, but I'm moving it all over. Okay, guys, it's the next day i want to just bring you out here and kind of show you what i did okay so the pile was over here this is where my compost pile was and now i moved it over here i soaked it down with water a lot of water um as i layered it i just soaked it with water i also want to show you my original compost pile and my neighbor's tree had fell over here and they had not cleaned it up so yesterday i put that tree back over on their property so um <laughs> this is my compost pile which i'm going to um i'm gonna burn this so it has wood in there it has ants it has all kind of whatever in there so uh, when the weather kind of gets rainy I'm gonna burn this up. The wood ash I can definitely use. Um, it's good for your plants. So I'm gonna burn this pile here and then I'm gonna move that pile over to there to add it all together. This has a lot of good nutrients in there. It did wind up flooding and everything, but I think the stuff is still able to get some good compost out of it. But yeah, I'm gonna burn. This is gonna be a little burn pile here but just wanted to bring you out here so you can see that i did get that done and um as you can see where it was this is probably some good soil right here but <laughs> i'm not planting anything back here because it floods like all of this we haven't had any rain like we usually do but all of this back here is a floody mess and so hopefully I'll have my compost um, sorted and everything before the rain season start. But, all right, guys, that's all I wanted to bring you back for. I hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video.